common going into the May primary. Each is at the top of his party's ticket. Today, representatives of the mayoral candidates pick lots to determine the place on the ballot. Democrat Ed Rendell will follow Mayor Good on the list, and John... This appearing act today is nothing new. In fact, Egan says that Frank Rizzo has a kind of rose garden strategy, Philadelphia style. It's getting silly. He does, he doesn't, he's not campaigning. He doesn't leave his office. He's bunkered in. Rizzo did send a representative, political director Michael Smirkanish. But organizers were so upset, there was talk of denying Smirkanish a chance to speak. So it wasn't a slight whatsoever. The mayor had a conflict in his schedule. He had to tend to some personal business as well as some private campaign meetings today, some of which were unforeseen. Smirkanish says that Egan is a political crybaby. Who had not yet changed over to the Republican Party. The poll that I think that you all have taken does not factor into it the close to 40,000 new registrations that we have accounted for in the Republican Party. Others simply chose really to ignore the poll. Now they're just talking about... Even the men, I think it's time for a change. It's really not unusual. It doesn't fit into that stereotype of the Rizzo electorate. But then again, I don't believe in the stereotype, and nor does the campaign. Group members tell me about 160 tickets were sold. That was to show just how many young votes are behind Rizzo. Votes that some candidates believe are crucial to win the upcoming primary. Just a few blocks away, John Egan was shaking hands. I think the oldest person there was probably myself. Nevertheless, there are just 12 days left before young and not so young Republicans will... This is in the city of Philadelphia, Frank Rizzo, who is now addressing his supporters victorious tonight. many months of hard work. It's nice to take a moment to enjoy this great victory. But, but only a moment. Tonight bring, begins the general election campaign. We must, we must. Give our children a quality education. Yeah. Leadership to control crime and let you walk the streets without fear. It then accuses Good of using a national network of left-wing financial supporters. News of the letter broke early this morning. By noon, Rizzo staffers were dodging reporters. By 2.15, it was the candidate who said, First of all, I want to apologize to the people of this city. I did Constance McHugh last week. You said I twisted your arm to get your endorsement. Nah, here it is. Here's my... <laughs> now, I've been supporting Frank Rizzo all along. I think we need new leadership in the city of Philadelphia. Rizzo's reaction to Castile jumping on the bandwagon at this late date? Ron Castile's endorsement is very important. That's timing. Timing in politics. Voter reaction to the endorsement is... ...thrown to Rizzo uh, through Castile. How significant is Castile's endorsement? Well, it gives the appearance of Republican solidarity, and it was looking bad for Rizzo not to have it. But with the election just three days away, some... Rizzo will get a similar vote of ethnic solidarity from most of Philadelphia's whites, who remember him as a tough cop and no-nonsense mayor. It has not been an openly racist campaign, but in Philadelphia, voting is racially balkanized. The only debate... ...at Rizzo campaign headquarters in Dennis Waltering. Dennis? Well, Larry, obviously people here didn't want to hear Teichner say that uh, Good would win this thing, but I think the fact that uh, we're not hearing numbers, that it's a trend, you're happy about that. Oh, this is Michael Smirkanish, uh, political director of the Rizzo campaign. I think that's encouraging. In 1983, as has been brought out tonight, uh, Teichner called the race for Wilson Good uh, by a wide margin, and it turned out to be a narrow one, and we are encouraged that there are no numbers being released. We think we're going to win the race, Dennis. At the same time, what we're seeing is a trend, according to Teichner. Uh, that doesn't suggest anything good for Rizzo. Well, I would take issue with that. The figures that we have at this point, and they are preliminary figures, uh, are very encouraging. The turnout in the areas that we needed it to be strong was very strong today, uh, and we remain very optimistic about uh, the final outcome of this race. This has been a roller coaster day, up and down, a surge at the end. What are you feeling right now? Well, I think that that's uh, typical of all campaigns, but 
the final part of that roller coaster was a high note, and so we, we think we're going to win the race. Okay, Michael Smirkanish, political director with the Rizzo campaign. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Dennis Waltering at Rizzo headquarters in uh, East Fall. Defeat. In refusing to admit defeat last night, Frank Rizzo could not help taking another shot at Wilson Good. And let me tell you, he ought to be ashamed of himself. We're not, we're not done yet, and we're not, and let me tell you something, so you'll understand. I, I will never concede to him, okay? But this afternoon, even though still insisting he'll have to see the official vote count before conceding it's over, Rizzo was much more restrained. Yes. What it says to us is that uh, things are still muddy out there. Things are still unclear. There is precedent here for the flash returns, and those are the, re the only returns that we have at this point, uh, for being far off the mark. I think it would be beneficial to the entire city that if... David, voters sign when they register to vote. Every election is not as close as last Tuesday's election was. This is one of the closest races in the history of the city of Philadelphia, and we think for that reason that, uh, that we'd better take these actions. But officials in the Wilson Good camp say the Rizzo... To offset Mayor Wilson Good's win last week is pretty slim. The margin, whatever it was, was a very thin margin. We owe it to everybody who voted in this election to make sure that before we write the final chapter, we're assured of what the final tabulation was. What the Rizzo people want... The whole process could take about three weeks. We think that uh, uh, there's a reason to believe that some of the sig signatures have been falsified. Nothing about this, however, is very unusual. Official vote counting. I feel that you're happy seeing it working. But Rizzo's campaign manager, Mike Smirkanish, today said instead of picking up votes, his candidate had lost even more. The returns that the news media had on election night were flash returns, which are prone to error. Unfortunately, the error in those numbers went against us and not uh, in favor of us. The race to fill the top seat... What about his bitter, defiant tone election night when he claimed he'd never concede to Wilson Good? Rizzo says the racially polarized election was too close to be gracious. I wish him well, and I'll do all I can. I promised my wife that I would only serve... Frank Rizzo knows how to get things done. Even in tough times, he moved Philadelphia forward. He did it by...